Yo, 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 what up, what up? YouTube was popping. Right back at it, man, with another video. Hey, man, before we get into it, man, y'all be sure to like this video, share this video, man, subscribe to the channel, man, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I put out a new video. Let's get into this. Man, listen, I'm gonna share a story with y'all, man, about the first murder the first murder I saw in prison, man. Um, it was the first among many, you know. Um, it was the first among many, man. So, this happened, I think about 2015 or 16 or some shit like that. And this is when I had you know, went to, you know, my first level five prison. My first level five prison was Telfair. So at Telfair, you know what I mean? When I got there, like, reality reality set in real hard, man. Like, cause Telfair was a real big boy camp, bro. Like, wasn't no bullshit, you know what I mean? At Telfair, bro. Niggas, niggas was getting murk. Niggas was getting their ass splat. You know what I mean? When I first seen, you know, major stabbings and, and gang wars and shit like that pop off, man. All I could say to myself was, God damn, what the fuck I done got myself into, bro. But, um, so I met Telfair, man. And see, this is a crazy situation, <clears throat> how this shit went down, right? And, and, uh, it's a crazy situation. So, we had a Muslim brother, man. And the Muslim brother, man, was trying to rob this civilian guy. So, you know, a civilian is somebody who is not aligned with any gang or any organization. They're not Muslim. Or you know, Muslims in prison is, is it's pretty much a gang. That's what it is for the most part. So if you're a civilian, that means that you ride by yourself. So the Muslim dude, I can't even remember his name, man. Um, but some 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 Muslim motherfucker. And I do the quote on quotes because most of them guys in prison that be claiming they Muslim don't really be about that Islamic lifestyle for real. Like they they probably got kicked out their gang, they got put on the plate by the bloods, or they got blackballed by the GDs or whatever, and they can't be a gang member, so they go to be Muslim basically for protection, basically. But when they come to the Muslims and they become Muslim, they still on the fuck shit. You know what I mean? That Muslims ain't even supposed to be on. And here's a here's a good example. All right. Um, um, the dude, you know, this so-called Muslim dude was trying to rob this civilian guy. So he went in his room, he went into the civilian guy's room. So the civilian dude had a phone. Now phones in prison is like the hottest commodity, bro. Like if you got a phone, that's like the ultimate thing to have, you know what I mean? And if you got one, plenty of people gonna want it. And if you a civilian and you got a phone, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have a hard time keeping it or somebody gonna end up taking it or something, unless you just really a civilian that's really 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 about that action so um the muslim goes in to take this guy's phone now the other muslims in, in the dorm with us didn't know what was going on all right uh he didn't tell nobody what he was doing so he ran in there and he tried to take the civilian phone, but the civilian was kind of about that action a little bit. So the civilian, so he, so the Muslim went in there with a knife to try to take the phone with a knife. But the civilian, the civilian wasn't going for that fuck shit, right? So he go to papping him, pop, pop, pop. He go to beating him. He go to beating up the Muslim, right? Now they inside of the cell. He go to beating him up. Boom, boom, boom. Next thing you know, some kind of way he get the knife. He he take he take the knife from the dude and start start wetting him, start stabbing him. Boom. 
So some kind of way they end up busting out the door. So they buffed out the room and and um when they buffed out the room and do the stabbing the op, other Muslims that don't know what's going on just sees this Muslim dude getting stabbed by this civilian. So it was a brother named Kadir. So Kadir ran up. It was another brother named Ibrahim and Jabril, I think. And um, Kadir ran up, man. They all ran up to try to aid the Muslim dude. So uh, Kadir had like a fucking sword machete thing that was dumb long, bro. Like this fucking long, man. And let me tell you. They go to they go to stabbing up the civilian dude. You know what I mean? They go to stabbing him up. Let me tell you, bro, this shit was like fucking something out of 300. No exaggeration, no bullshit. Let me tell you what Kadir did with this long ass fucking sword. This dude took that thing, man, and stuck that shit so far in the home stomach that the shit literally came through his back, bro. Like, yeah, like, for real. Like, I ain't never seen nothing like that in my fucking life except in the movies, nigga. Bro, when I tell you, dude pierced that nigga and put it in his life so fucking far that that shit came through his back. Bro, so needless to say, he ain't make it. Yeah, so he ain't make it. So, um... All the brothers that was involved in that, you know, they went down. Um, um, you know, Kadir, you know, Kadir uh, caught the little charge, man, caught the murder charge. I think all of them caught a murder charge, man. And, um, and I don't even think Kadir originally had no life sentence, bro, but he got a life sentence, man, off of that situation. And it's crazy because y'all didn't even know what was going on. And see, that's why I don't never go head first into no situation, bro. I don't give a fuck what's going on. I don't give a fuck because it be so many dumb Muslim niggas that do dumb shit. You ain't finna get me wrapped up in no dumb shit. I'm finna investigate. I don't care if I see your ass getting pulled out on the floor. If anything, it depends on who you is. If I know you a bullshit Muslim, I see you getting pulled out on the floor. I ain't finna run over there goddamn head first fucking with your ass. Now, if you a good, solid dude, and I know you solid, and I know you don't get into no shit, and I see you getting pulled out on the floor, then I know, okay, hell yeah, I'm finna go aid this brother. But... And, and like at times when I was the head Muslim and I was in charge and all that stuff, people used to be mad at me because I wouldn't just accept any old ex-gang member nigga, bro, talking about he want to be Muslim, bro, because you got kicked out your gang, bro. You know what I mean? And people used to be mad at me saying, oh, man, you know what I mean? You can't decide who, who could be Muslim and who can't. You know what I mean? And I say, yeah, you right. I can't decide who could be Muslim and who can't. But guess what? I can decide who going to be among us and our little community and who ain't. You can be Muslim all you want to, nigga. But you finna be Muslim over there at least until you got them prove yourself, man. I can't stop you from praying five times a day and stop you from goddamn, you know, practicing your spiritual connection with God, however you choose to do so. But you finna, you finna have to show us, bro, that you really sincere about changing your lifestyle, bro. Everybody be embracing these dudes just because they say they want to be Muslim. And sure enough, it's a religion. So you can't really just turn nobody away from saying they want to be Muslim. But at the same time, bro, that situation is a prime example of why you can't just do that shit like that, bro. And I got several other scenarios that were similar to that. You know what I mean? Um... But yeah, this is gonna be like part one of the murders in prison, man. I probably seen I probably seen at least seven murders, you know what I mean, uh throughout my throughout my time. But um, but yeah, man. Once again, man, hit that like button, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man, share the video, man. 
uh all my lawyer followers man watch your subscribers man y'all keep on watching the videos man i got plenty more man i got 12 years worth of stories bro so i ain't going nowhere no time soon man so y'all stay tuned in you know what i mean stay up peace of love man to all the real ones out there man peace